Redbox is a research data catalog. It's a, it's a, basically a, a workflow system that allows people to describe um, their research data holdings and then make it available, or make that metadata available to different um, consumers of that information, such as RDA. Mint's the cousin of Redbox, and Mint is a, uh, a name authority system, so it provides information about uh, parties, uh, such as people, uh, activities, and services, and um, it's basically a way of giving us a, um, an authoritative name lookup, that what we saw is, um, you know, in institutional repositories was non-identified data being fed around. When you aggregated it, it was just a mess. And we, we very much wanted to avoid that in Redbox and Mint and say, look, you know, we will link things properly and we'll describe them in such a way that if someone else is describing the same thing, that, that you can make that association properly. And we wanted a system that uh, a developer could jump into and get documentation information and see it was stable. A user could get it up and running quite easily and see how it, it was um, it was providing uh, utility to them, uh, and that also linked into national and, and in the future international schemes. Mm. So that we're going to a, a new stage now where um, the development of, of Redbox and Mint, hopefully and, and Fascinator, is far more of a community-based effort rather than a sort of a core project working through it. I've been working to establish a technical management committee over the code who will provide um, assistance to those people wanting to submit code back to the core and importantly uh, next to that is a user, um, a Redbox user group uh, who uh, is basically um, implementers so across libraries, research offers, offices, universities who are saying here is what we need and here is how we need it to look uh, so the, um, the development community can respond to that. Um, these are, these are non-trivial things to set up. In at least at QCIF's level, we, we are highly cognizant of, of the fact that our user community has provided um, a lot of information to us um, over and above often, especially for Newcastle, their project expectations. And so that, that's ultimately led, I think, to a better product. But it has meant that we are keenly aware of how important our community is to our ongoing success. So we're also mindful that smaller universities have often got a lot of pressure on them to meet uh, national reporting and, and information demands and don't often have a lot of resources for this. Uh, so providing Redbox as a service to them um, again gives them, to my mind, an ability to report on, on data uh, and, and join that national um, data commons uh, without having to do huge amount of software project work to do so. I mean, we should be aware of what other countries are doing, but not just sort of see it as something that we defer off to the US or the mm. UK, um, that we actually have really good, strong systems, and we have good staff who are finding out really useful information, and that information getting out internationally um, is really helpful, rather than just sort of expecting to be guided by other, other groups. Mm.